Hello everyone, now we will start with a new topic as a part of module pool programming and our new topic is how we can go for select options in module pool program. So far, what we did in module pool program, we took a single input of the order number. Now, if customer is asking, if customer want a range of order number and customer want multiple values of order number, how, how we can go for select options in module pool program. In case of our module pool programs, what we did, we simply, simply went to the screens we designed the layouts. We gave the input value of order number. Now, suppose maximum what we can do. We will take another input of the order number. It will be low value. It will be high value. Now, what about multiple selection button? Because in select option, if I will go for this executable program, select option, low value, high value, we have multiple selection button. So our topic is how we can go for select option in module pool program. As of now, we only, only took the single input from the user. And in real project, yes, customer is asking for these kinds of requirement. In case of executable program, suppose this is our executable program. Whenever I will run this executable program, we have this selection screen or input screen. It is very, very easy to create select option. You need to simply, simply write the syntax select option, name of the select option. This is the way you are creating. But how we can go for this in module pool program? So what we will do, I will create a program. I will create a module pool program. And in that program, we will learn how to go for select option, an important topic. And yes, if you have the knowledge of sub screen topic, it is very easy to understand this particular topic. So I will create a program. I will go to SC38 transaction code. I will give some name to the program. Suppose I will say, ZMP underscore suppose demo on select options. I will go for create. I will give that title. Demo on creation of select options in module pool program. I will choose the type as module pool. In executable program, it's very easy. I will go for local object. I will activate this module pool program. I will go to display object list. Now I will create a screen here. In this module pool program, suppose I am creating a screen. In this screen, we will display the select options. Suppose I will give the short description, main screen. I will save and I will activate up to this level. Now, how we can go for select options in this module pool program? Double click on your program. And now 
here i will write the code to go for select option so firstly i will create a selection screen through coding firstly i will go for selection screen through coding and in that selection screen we will write the logic for the select option so firstly i will write selection screen now i will write begin of screen you can give any number to the screen it is totally totally your wish so we are writing selection screen begin of screen 200 and now i will write as sub screen so we are saying yes we are going for screen 200 but it is a sub screen now i will simply simply write selection screen end of screen 200 so through coding we created a screen 200 and that is a sub screen sub screen previously how you created the sub screen you simply right click and you created the screen and you choose the radio button we choose the radio button sub screen now we are not going by that way through coding itself we are creating a screen and we are saying that will act as sub screen now in between this begin of screen and end of screen i will go for select options so i will write select options i will give some name to the select option we always follow the best practices suppose i am saying s underscore o and o for is the keyword i am writing suppose lv underscore o and o i will declare lv underscore o and no you all know very well how to create select option lv underscore o and no type i will give the data element of order number i will check order header table this is our data element I'll check the syntax and activate up to this level. I will provide the selection text. Go to text elements, selection text. I will choose TDIC reference. Done. So we created a screen 200 and we are telling SAP that it is a sub screen. And yes, in between this, we provided the select option. Now, we all know very well, now the knowledge of subscreen will play a vital role. How you can display this subscreen into the normal screen 100, into the normal screen 100? Simply, you all know we have two steps. We will create a sub-screen area onto the normal screen. And then we will call the sub-screen into sub-screen area of normal screen. We always, always has these two steps. We'll go for same to same thing. So I will go to 100 screen. I will go to layout. Now here I will create a sub screen area. You all did the same to same thing. Sub screen area. We will drag and drop. 
never forget to give the name of the subscreen area. So I gave SUP. I will save. Now I will activate. Now you all know what is the syntax to call a subscreen into subscreen area of normal screen. You all know the syntax very well. Call subscreen, subscreen area name, including SciRef ID and subscreen number. So I will simply write the syntax. And yes, we will write the syntax in PBO process before output because we want the screen to be there. Whenever 100 screen will appear, 200 screen will appear into the subscreen area of 100 screen. So we should, should write the logic in PBO. So I will write call subscreen. What is our subscreen area name? SUB including SciRef ID. SciRef ID, we all know it is a system variable for report ID, program ID, or we can say program name or report name. And what is our subscreen number? 200. Previously, you also did the same to same thing. But at that time, you created the screen 200. You choose the radio button sub screen. Now we want to go for select option. So what we did, we simply, simply created a sub screen through coding. And in between that, we gave the select option. Now I will go for, this is the logic which we have written. I will just go to display mode and we will activate up to this level. So now we all know a module pool program always, always require a transaction code. So we will create a transaction code. I will right click, create transaction. I will give some name to that transaction code. Suppose I will say Z select suppose. I will write transaction code. I will choose the first radio button because module pool programming is also called as dialog programming. I will pass the program name. Now I will choose the screen number. Do not go for screen 200. We need to go for 100 screen. Now I will simply select these three checkboxes. I will go for save. I will save it as a local object. Now just it's a, a very, very important point to understand the flow. Whenever I will right click and run the program, we all know 100 screen PBO will call. Whenever 100 screen PBO will call, it will display the screen 200 into subscreen area of 100 screen. And what is on the screen 200? On the screen 200, we have the select option. So ultimately, select option will display into the subscreen area of normal screen. Previously, you did same to same thing. At that time, the only difference is you created the subscreen separately. You designed the layout on the subscreen and then you called the subscreen. Now here also, now our requirement is select option. So how we created the select option? We created, we have written the syntax selection screen, begin of screen, 
and through coding we tell yes it is a subscreen and we gave the select option in between that now i will run and show you the output now you can see this is a select option this is what customer want this is full understanding how we can go for select options in module pool program so what is the summary of the video firstly it's a important concept so what is the summary of the video in this video we started how we can go for select option in module pool program in executable program it is very very easy you are simply running the program you have selection screen or input screen and through coding you can create select option is the keyword now how we can go in module pool program in module pool program we have written the syntax through coding we are going for this so what is the syntax we gave selection screen begin of screen 200 end of screen 200 and we are telling that this screen is a sub screen now in between this selection screen begin of screen and end of screen we provided the select option and after that we created the sub screen area on to the normal screen and we have written the syntax to display the sub screen into sub screen area of normal screen rest is all the knowledge of your sub screen so this syntax is playing a vital role how we can go for select options in module pool program and you can write any number of select option in between this because anyways it's a selection screen but yes we are telling that it will display like a sub screen so that's it in this particular video thank you